Hi there! In this video, I'd like to show you how to serve a static website built in Angular, React, Vue.js, or any other modern framework, and which will be hosted on AWS S3 bucket connected to a cloud from distribution, and of course will be served through a custom domain name. One very important thing to pay attention to is the router issue for such websites, where the router state is handled within the framework itself, and you have to deal with hash bank characters in the URL. So I'll show you how to fix this problem as well by using redirect rules from S3 bucket configuration. Let's Take it in an orderly manner and start with creating the S3 bucket where our site is going to be hosted. So once you're in your AWS management console, search for S3 service, access it, and let's create a new bucket. Let's call it md.md. .md. Make sure you pro provide a public access to your bucket, otherwise your, your site won't be accessible from the internet. And yes, we acknowledge this thing. And once the bucket is ready, we have actually to update a few more things like bucket policy to allow our objects, our assets from the bucket to be requested by the end user. So instead of bucket name, we have to specify our bucket, which is md.md. .md. Save it. As you can see, it became publicly accessible. Next thing in your properties tab, at the bottom of the page, we want to enable the static website hosting. That's how our application will be served. So edit it, enable it, provide an index HTML for your root and save the changes. And with this configuration, I think we're ready to upload our application. Let me take you, tell you a few things about the application itself. So it's a small angular application which has a router with two components so you can switch between components and as you can see in the url please pay attention here it changes the path so it works i expect to see the same behavior in our s3 bucket in our application so let me upload these assets into the bucket And once it's ready, we can go back into our bucket, properties, static website hosting, and here you can see the endpoint, which you can access to see your application. So as you can see, it works, even the routing works. But what happens if you want to share this URL with one of your friends when the router is changed, and they, they will try to access this URL directly. So let's try to refresh the page and we see an error. Why this is happening? Because the browser, when you try to access the changed path in the URL, it's trying to search for this folder within your bucket. And of course, you don't have such folder because this router should be handled by the front end framework itself. So how how we can fix this thing? The first approach is to use is to go into our static website hosting configuration, edit it, and provide for the error handler the same index.html document. Save it, and this should be enough to deal with this problem. So at the moment, if the, when there is an issue and the bucket cannot find this path requested by the browser, it redirects to our index.html document and provides this URL. And from this point, the front-end framework picks up the, all the events and it's displaying the proper component. So first component works. Second component, if I refresh the page, works as well. But this solution might not work for everyone. Some people might have a proper error handler or display a proper error message. So they might not want to have this index.html under their error document so what to do in this case to fix this issue in this case we should use redirect rules and they should look like that so what happens here when there's a 403 error the browser cannot find the path that folder in the bucket it will re redirect to the same url but with hash bank characters in the front of the prefix and the same happens for euro 404 let's save the changes 
but to deal with this situation we have to update also our application and in my case the entire logic sits in here so uh, I'm pulling the current state from the browser history which is the navigation one at which URL I'm located at the moment I'm uh, taking the current uh, page title and I'm checking if I have a hashbank character in the front of my path in the URL and if there is such thing I'll pull all the other characters the rest of the path into an my variable in here if there is no such thing it will be undefined and nothing will happen but if there is this path after following the hashbank characters I'll replace the current state uh, which is this one with a new path this thing will uh, trigger the front-end application events to handle the properly the uh, routing subscriptions and uh, the f application itself will redirect already to the proper component or will handle the logic within the framework itself and uh, to enable this thing I have to add it also in my index.html file let me build the application once again And when application is ready, we can actually upload our new objects into the bucket. So let's go into our objects list, drag them here and upload the new, new versions. It's done. And now if I'm trying to refresh the page, as you as you can see in here it it's appending that hashbang character quickly but after that the application itself is replacing it with the proper path so it works without having the index html specified as an error handler just using the redirecting rules from the s3 bucket itself so it works the next thing to do in this case is to enable the https so without HTTPS, our site is not so trustworthy in our days, and we have to enable this thing. So if you go into the bucket, under your bucket properties, at the bottom of the page, you can see this one is served only via HTTP protocol. In, in order to enable HTTPS, we have to attach a cloud from distribution to our bucket. Let's copy, first of all, this URL and go and search for cloud front. front service and here let's create a new distribution so for origin name you have to provide the endpoint of your bucket the one which we just copied but without the protocol so no HTTP in front of it next we want to redirect all the HTTP requests to HTTPS And if you want to use the domain name provided by AWS, you can keep this certificate in here. It, the AWS in this case will generate you, uh, a random domain name with their own certificate. If you have your own your custom domain name with your own certificate, you can spe specify the certificate in here. I have already one uploaded into the AWS. And the domain name should be listed in here. If you have multiple domain names, you have to specify them in the next line. In my case, it's just only one single domain name. It's awsmd.md. So with this configuration should be enough. We can create the distribution and it will take some time to update its status. So when the distribution is ready, it's deployed we have to go inside of this distribution and copy the domain name we need this domain name to create an LS in our route 53 so search for route 53 
access our hosted zone and for our domain name we have to create a new record so record name leave it blank record type should be a and make sure you tick this ls ready button in here we should search for our cloud front distribution and specify our url here and create the record this way we will redirect our domain name to that cloud front distribution right now if you try to access our domain name we should see our application so it's here and if you're trying to refresh the page to see the hashbank character quickly replaced by the application itself you see we're being redirected to the bucket in point served over http so in order to fix this issue we have to go back into our s3 bucket search for s3 service let's find our bucket in here which is this one properties at the bottom of the page so we're being redirected to this url in order to fix this issue we have to update this policy rules and specify also the domain name within so it should be like that every time we should be redirected to our domain name over the https and the same for the 404 error save it and after you you're doing some changes within your s3 bucket uploading new assets or changing its configuration we have also to clear the cache for our cloud front distribution so let's go in our cloud front distribution go inside it and in here in validations we have to create a new validation and clear all the assets we have cached before so invalidate let's wait until it's done and when it's completed we can go ahead and check our aws domain name again so it works if i'm trying to access one of the components and refresh the page it stays on my domain name so it works like that if you have any comments please feel free to share them maybe you have some feedback or maybe suggestions how to improve this journey see you next time